will do it from Indianapolis. Jeff Saturday's Colts are two and a half point favorites against Tomlin's Pittsburgh Steelers. Crazy times in the NFL right now. And I agree with what Grant said in his fastest three minutes in the sports betting segment. This is going to be one of the better games this week. I think so, too. You know, the Steelers, they played a, uh, a good game last week. You know, Pickett and, uh, Pickett and Pickens looked good. You yeah. know what I mean? So, uh, it's going to be a tough one. But um, I, might, I might have to roll with the Colts on this. Yeah, T.J. Watt being back for the Steelers is big. That's yeah, their yeah, leader. Sure. I, I know defensively he is the engine that makes that unit go, but he's their leader top down. It looked like a different ball club with T.J. Watt on the field against Cincinnati. Like you said, Pickett played a little bit better. George Pickens, we knew right when they drafted him. I mean, we were in here pounding our fists on these you know, chairs trying to get the Browns to draft George Pickens. We knew he was going to be really good. I'm going to take the Steelers, though. I really think I have to. I love the move of hiring Jeff Saturday, and I hope that I'm wrong. But I think I, I, I'm not sold on Matty Ice. I'm not sold on that Colts O-line, you know, on, yeah. on those tackles at least against T.J. Watt, bending off that edge in prime time. This feels like such one of those sneaky games where Mike Tomlin just stays alive in November. <laughs> Obviously, you know, their season is probably done, but – it's just one of those games that the Steelers are too pesky, and I think they could get a dub. That plus 112 is awfully enticing, uh, especially against a team that has an ESPN analyst as their head coach. How do you <laughs> feel about the over-under being set at 39-and-a-half? That's definitely one of the lowest, if not the lowest, point total Yeah, of the entire week. 39-and-a-half in prime time is the lowest. Um, For this, man, I think that's pretty spot on for this game yeah yeah Yeah. for real i could see it being 39 or 40 like i think it's pretty spot on 2017 type game yeah Yeah. big time i think it could be that though 2017 39 and a half is so low it's extra rest being monday night football it's prime time you you if two nfl teams can't get me 40 points on an over bet man what will i would feel so silly betting under 39 and a half in the nfl so for that rationale i'm gonna lock in that over 39 and a half for monday night football